In this video, I work through the two examples that we see here in which I distribute a square root or a third across a pair of parentheses. So let's get started with this first example. We need to distribute and simplify, if possible, the square root of 3 times 5 times the square root of 2 plus the square root of 3. To do this, we distribute the square root of 3 across the parentheses in the usual way. In other words, I can go ahead and state that's equal to the square root of 3 times 5 times the square root of 2 plus the square root of 3 times the square root of 3. Now, looking at the first product we have here, let me point out that since multiplication is commutative, I can change the order of the terms inside this multiplication. In other words, I can go ahead and rewrite that as 5 times the square root of 3 times the square root of 2. Now, to write this expression in its simplest form, we use the fact that the square root of a number a times the square root of a number b is equal to the square root of a times b. And in fact, I'll go ahead and box that important result. Using it, we can go back to our expression and state that it's equal to 5 times the square root of 3 times 2 plus the square root of 3 times 3. And that becomes 5 times the square root of 6 plus the square root of 9. But since 9 is a square number, indeed 9 equals to 3 times 3, we can simplify this term further and state our final answer as 5 times the square root of 6, so 5 root 6, plus 3. And that's the answer. Now, before working through the second example, let me quickly point out the fact that as soon as we had seen the square root of 3 times the square root of 3, we could have stated right away that that was just equal to 3. And if you're comfortable with that, by all means do so. Now, let's look at the second example. We need to expand and simplify the square root of 2, which is multiplying the square root of 3 minus 5 times the square root of 6. Well, I distribute the square root of 2 the usual way, so that becomes the square root of 2 times the square root of 3 minus the square root of 2 times 5 times the square root of 6. Just as I did for the first example, I changed the order of the terms inside that product, and I can state that that's equal to 5 times root 2 times root 6. And using the result that I boxed in orange here, I can now state that this equals to the square root of 2 times 3 minus 5 times the square root of 2 times 6. And that's equal to the square root of 6 minus 5 times the square root of 12. And careful, we mustn't stop here. Looking at 12, we notice that it has a square factor. Indeed, 12 is equal to 4, which is a square number, times 3. And so to simplify the square root of 12, we can go ahead and state that this equals to the square root of 6 minus 5 times the square root of 4 times 3. And reading the result we have here from right to left, we can split this square root of 4 times 3 into two separate square roots. Indeed, we can say that this turns into the square root of 6 minus 5 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. Now, using the fact that the square root of 4 is equal to 2, this becomes the square root of 6 minus 5 times 2 times the square root of 3, which leads to the square root of 6 minus 10 root 3. And that's the final answer. And there we go.